My objective has been to have meaningful work and meaningful relationships with the people I work with, and I've learned that I couldn't have that unless I had that radical transparency and that algorithmic decision making. I want to show you why that is. I want to show you how it works, and I warn you that some of the things that I'm going to show you probably are a little bit shocking. Picture this: Sam is a hardworking and passionate individual with a drive to succeed in his business. He has invested his money in the business, time, and energy. But despite his best efforts, he has been struggling to turn a profit. Are you in the same shoes as Sam? If yes, in this video, I will reveal the blueprint for building a profitable business and having the right mindset towards investment. This blueprint was created by Ray Dalio, a billionaire investor and founder of the world's largest hedge fund, Bridgewater Associates, and the author of Principles life and work. He is also a leading figure in the world of philanthropy and an avid supporter of transcendental meditation. He has appeared on Time Magazine's list of the 100 most influential people in the world. Realize that we would need radical truthfulness and radical transparency. What I mean by radical truthfulness and radical transparency is people needed to say what they really believed and to see everything. Dalio firmly believes in being open and honest, and this principle has guided the culture at his investment company, Bridgewater. Radical truth and transparency entail seeing things as they are, not as you wish. This approach can help you recognize your weaknesses, assess your progress objectively, and make informed decisions. Furthermore, being transparent with others can build trust, encourage knowledge sharing, and allow for constructive criticism leading to personal growth and improved relationships. Understanding what is true is essential for success, and being radically transparent about everything helps create the understanding that leads to improvements. Be radically truthful and transparent with your coworkers, employees, or employers, and expect them to be the same as you ensure that important issues are apparent instead of hidden. It also promotes positive conduct and critical thinking as justifying your actions allows everyone to evaluate the soundness of your reasoning openly. If you're managing tasks effectively, complete transparency will highlight that. If you're not, it will also reveal areas needing improvement, encouraging high-quality standards. See, you are not practicing radical transparency, like letting your kids grow into adulthood believing in the Tooth Fairy or Santa Claus. Although hiding the truth may temporarily please people, it won't help them become smarter or more trusting in the long term. It's valuable for people to know they can rely on your honesty. So being radically transparent and truthful in business can lead to greater profitability. By openly and honestly sharing information with employees, customers, and other stakeholders, you can build trust, reduce misunderstandings, and cultivate a culture of honesty and integrity. In addition, being transparent about your company's strengths and weaknesses can help you identify areas for improvement and make better decisions. When customers and employees know they can trust you to be truthful, they're likelier to do business with you and stay loyal to your company. By being radically transparent and truthful, there will be room for the idea of meritocracy. Idea to meritocracy simply means letting the right idea win, no matter where it comes from. It promotes everyone's sharing of ideas and opinions. Implementing this in reality involves appreciating valuable ideas and suggestions, regardless of where they come from. This approach emphasizes that the best ideas don't necessarily come from the top, but are determined by their quality. It's about allowing everyone an equal opportunity to express themselves, actively listen to others, and nurture an environment of respect. It's not about pride or proving oneself right. It's about achieving the correct outcome. This approach relies on independent thinkers willing to share honest thoughts and engage in constructive disagreement. Once a decision is made, everyone involved needs to commit to following through on it, even if they initially disagree with it. To have a successful idea meritocracy, all parties must commit to these key principles, sharing ideas freely, disagreeing productively, and abiding by the agreed-upon outcome. This philosophy can be incredibly useful in the investment world.
where it's crucial to identify and execute the best ideas to make a profit. By embracing the idea of meritocracy, you can avoid the groupthink and hierarchy bias that can prevent great ideas from being heard or implemented. In addition to increasing the chances of finding and implementing winning ideas, an idea meritocracy can also help to avoid costly mistakes. When all ideas are on the table, spotting potential problems or risks that might be overlooked is easier. This allows for better informed decision-making, which can lead to improved profitability. I'd like to take you into a meeting and introduce you to a tool of ours called the Dot Collector that helps us do this. Behind the dot collector is a computer that is watching. It watches what all these people are thinking, and it correlates that with how they think. And it communicates advice back to each of them based on that. Then it draws the data from all the meetings to create a pointillist painting of what people are like and how they think. And it does that guided by algorithms. One of the core aspects of Dalio's philosophy is using algorithms to aid decision-making. He expresses his decision-making criteria through algorithms he could input into the computers. By comparing his decisions with those made by the computer, he learned that the computer could make better decisions because it could process more data and information faster and without the emotional biases of human experience. This process allows Dalio and the people he works with to compound their understanding over time and improve the quality of their collective decision-making. Unlike Dalio, you might not be able to develop computer algorithms for life decision-making. Still, the underlying principle here is having a systematic approach. This may involve making a pros and cons list, analyzing experience, consulting with mentors and trusted friends, or other methods. The key is to avoid being influenced by emotion or bias and instead make rational, well-considered decisions based on facts and evidence. Doing this will assist you in making great decisions that will spur your business on a profitable path. Having a systemized decision-making process or machine is like having a GPS in your car. Whether you follow all of its suggestions or not, it's always invaluable. This principle also leads to having an inventory of principles. Dalio maintains an evolving list of principles guiding his life and work. He classified an unsolved task as a case at hand, and the solved cases as one of those. Now, an obvious fact is that almost every case at hand is just another one of those, identifying which one of those it is and then applying well-thought-out principles for solving it. This simply means every new situation you encounter can be classified as a variation of a past event. The key is identifying the most similar prior experience and applying the solutions to the present situation. When you adopt this approach, you will find that you can make much faster and better decisions because you are not starting from scratch each time. Rather, you can leverage your existing knowledge and experience to quickly identify the most appropriate solution for the current situation. This can save time and energy and dramatically increase your likelihood of making the right decision. In other words, this method is a shortcut to making better decisions with less effort. The key to doing this well is to slow down your thinking and carefully assess the criteria you use to decide. Record those criteria as a principle. When you have an outcome to assess, consider and refine those criteria as needed. Identifying which one of those things each thing is is like identifying which species an animal is. Doing that for each thing and then matching it up with the appropriate principles will become like playing a game so that it will be fun and helpful. However, it can also be challenging. Many cases at hand can combine elements of another of those. In such cases, one must weigh different principles against each other, using mental maps of how the different types of things you encounter should be handled. You can use your principles or others. You just want to use the best ones possible. If you constantly strive to think in this way, you will eventually become a master of principle thinking. This approach can lead to better decision-making and more successful outcomes in both your personal and professional lives. Life is mostly a matter of making your mistakes and knowing how to evolve past those mistakes and learn. According to Dalio, evolution is the single greatest force in the universe. 
It is the only thing that is permanent and drives everything. He asserts that perfection is a false goal. Change is the only constant in the universe. Without it, human beings would not exist. Every element of the universe is in a constant state of striving towards a state of perfection, which cannot be achieved. Life is a journey of continuous learning and evolution. Striving for perfection can lead to unnecessary pressure and disappointment. Instead, strive to improve daily, accepting that setbacks and mistakes are part of growth. To realize your full potential, you must embrace the process of evolution and strive for personal growth and development daily. This is the heart of the self-improvement journey. Pursuing material wealth, status, and other external achievements are not ends, but the means to a greater end. They are like bait that drives us to strive for more and become better versions of ourselves. For example, a man who desires to be with a particular woman may find himself motivated to dress better, exercise more, and seek more lucrative career opportunities to attract her. Passing on their DNA is the bait for men and women, and procreation and evolution are the goals. Awareness of this quirk allows you to operate more effectively and with more autonomy in this seemingly chaotic world. In Dalio's view, you are a machine operating within a machine. Hear him say it here. Well, I think that to think of it, the human body is a gorgeous machine. It's like our brains is gorgeous machines. This means you need to adapt to the rules. Evolution is one of the rules. Moreover, evolution can be possible when you understand your true self. According to Dalio, there are two yous, the higher and the lower. The higher your level, the more rational you are. The prefrontal cortex governs it. Then there's the lower level you, the emotional you, the amygdala, basal ganglia, hippocampus, and other brain structures govern this. These two parts of the mind can conflict, leading to internal tension and cognitive dissonance. For example, when someone gets angry with themselves, their higher level brain is fighting with their lower level brain. When someone asks, why did I let myself eat all that cake? The answer is because the lower level you want out over the thoughtful higher level you. The lower level you, for example, the subconscious determine 90 to 95% of your actions on any given day. It is where your predominant mental attitude and habits originate. The goal is to align your higher and lower level minds to achieve your financial or lifestyle goals without resistance. This is easier said than done, but breaking bad habits is a good start. Understanding the interplay between the logical, conscious you and the emotional, subconscious you can be very helpful in building a successful business. By understanding how these two parts of your mind work together and are sometimes at odds, you can better manage your decision-making process, interactions with others, and ultimately, your business's profitability. In order to be an effective investor, one has to bet against the consensus and be right. To be successful in the markets or as an entrepreneur, one has to be an independent thinker who bets against the consensus and is right because the consensus is built into the price. The key to this type of success is being comfortable being an independent thinker and being comfortable with being wrong. After all, being an independent thinker means going against the grain which means there is always a risk of being wrong. But the only way to truly succeed is to be comfortable with that risk and to have the conviction to stand by one's beliefs. Furthermore, it's important to have a group of independent thinkers to challenge each other and raise the probability of being right. However, even with this process, managing the risk of being wrong is essential. By considering multiple perspectives, you can improve your chances of making the right bet. These insights provide valuable lessons for anyone looking to succeed in their business life. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more insightful content.